Hi guys, Chris here, running GTA 5 on the Chewy HI12. When I say running, I mean streaming, sorry. Um, there's no way that this hardware can actually run GTA 5. No Adam's going to run it. Not yet, maybe in the next five years the Adam's might be able to run this game, but at the moment they don't run it with playable frame rates. And I'm controlling it with an Xbox One controller, and I have it set up through my own home network. So results are going to vary depending on your network speeds and your hardware, but at the moment you can see it seems to be streaming perfectly fine and it looks really nice on the 2160 by 1440p screen so I'm just gonna drive around here and just do some random stuff just to see if the stream can keep up So it seems to be fine so far. I can't see any lag. There's no warning coming up from Steam telling me uh, the network connection is poor. So I'm just going to get out on foot now and have a quick look around and see if that's going to have any impact on the frame rate. doesn't look to be I think streaming games isn't going to be a problem as long as you've got a good wireless router and your desktop PC of course can keep up. And here's the screen on 50% brightness and I'll put that next to the Teclast X98 Air 3 which has a retina panel in there, 4x3 panel and you can see side by side brightness is a little bit hard there to gauge but it's definitely looking at least at 50% that the Chewy HO12 screen is definitely brighter. So if I up this to 100%, uh, 75, 100, and then go 100, you can see there the brightness. I'm going to say the winner has to be, at least looking here in this video, the HI12. You can see the viewing angles there on both. It seems quite bright. And there it is again, side by side, 100% brightness. Both panels are very similar, but I do have to say the winner is going to be the HO12 in terms of screen brightness. Now I've already measured the brightness and it turns out to be around 300, 303 uh, nits of brightness there. And the I think the retina panel is about the same kind of brightness levels, but it all depends on bias, the settings, and things like that, and individual panels too. So those were just a couple of requests there fulfilled. I can't promise I can fill all of them, but thank you for watching this video, and hopefully see you back in the channel. I will have the full review of the Chewy HO12 online soon on techtablets.com, so keep an eye out for that. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.